Now this illustration deals with junction boxes. We have so many conductors entering this box that we can't use a device box, an octagon box, or a square box with extension rings. We need a larger box, and on the back inside cover of our electrical design book, you will find these junction box sizes listed there uh, so that you would know the appropriate size box to use. But uh, since we're, uh, it's not in your code book, uh, you will kind of have to look at these boxes and see uh, how we've sized them uh, and go by that or purchase the uh, Stalkup's electrical design book and reference the back inside cover or go online and take a look at it or just look at junction boxes in general from a manufacturer uh, of such boxes. Now, uh, based upon what we have in this junction box, it's EMT with the EMT connectors. And notice we have 16 uh, uh, 12 AWGs. So there's two conductors there, one coming from the left, one, uh, one from the right. So we'd have two times uh, eight, and that would uh, give us 16. Now, the same below, we have 16 number 12, so, so two of them, one from each side coming in, would be 16. And then we would have, uh, uh, say, eight number 12s, so that'd be uh, two times four in this case, and we would uh, come up then uh, with the eight that you see there. So with this uh, knowledge, by reviewing what's in the box, we can now go to figure 12-15B, and we can do the calculation and size the junction box.